Hey guys, welcome back. And so in today's video, I'm gonna quickly show you guys a couple of simple ways to use your VPN on your PS4 and PS5. Now, if you guys are actually interested in any of the VPNs that I'm gonna mention in today's video, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about these VPNs. Now, there are two really effective ways to connecting your PS4 to the VPN. Now, unfortunately, with the PS4 and PS5, you won't really be finding any native VPN application. However, the most reliable way to connect your PS4 and PS5 is by using a router. And I think ExpressVPN has the best router app in the industry. So it's super easy to use and it needs a little to no configuration. And you can get it to work within a little to no time which is really convenient. And with regards to how to set it up, it's super simple. All you're gonna have to do is visit their website and check out their guide and how to set it up. And it'll tell you exactly how you can do it. So that's one option, but unfortunately you're going to need a compatible router for that. And this is when you know most people might not be willing to buy a compatible router. So in this case, what you're gonna have to do here is first of all, install the VPN software on your device. So whichever VPN you're using, I would recommend one of the these three VPN, which are ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark, especially when it comes to gaming. Because the ping you'll be getting of ExpressVPN will be the closest to your native ping followed by Nord and Surfshark. So I would say ExpressVPN will increase your ping by maybe one or perhaps two milliseconds. And if it's a good server, sometimes it'll give you the same as your native ping. And then we have Nord, which will increase your ping by about three to five, maybe sometimes six milliseconds. And then with Surfshark, it will increase your ping between five and 15, depending on how far you are from the game server and the VPN server. But really overall, these are all great VPNs and they all have low ping for gaming. So first of all, you have to install once you subscribe to your VPN service and then you're going to install the VPN software on your PC and connect to it. And so once you've done that, you have to plug one end of the cable onto the back of your PC and the other end into your PC4 or PS5. So this is how you're going to share your PC connection with your PS4 or 5. Next step, you're going to want to go to the control panel and head to network and internet. Then you're going to click on your network and sharing center and then change your adapter settings right here. And of course, you want to be connected to your VPN. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and turn on my VPN. And so you're going to notice that one of these is the ExpressVPN driver and you're going to click properties. From there, open the sharing tab and allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. And then you're going to select your internet. So whatever is feeding your internet here, your connection. So I'm just going to have to select the ethernet and click OK. So once you've clicked OK, on your PS4, go to settings, network settings, and then set up the internet connection as if you're setting up your connection for the first time. Pick use LAN cable and select the easy connection method. On the PS5, go to settings, network setup, internet connection, and this will automatically scan and set up your ethernet connection. Also, just make sure to select do not use a proxy server when prompt. And then you can test your internet connection if you would like to make sure everything went well, but it's really so simple. Your console should now be connected to the internet through a VPN. So now I've heard some reports that some PCs are just not working. You just can use this method for a variety of complications. And some honest Honestly, really not so sure why it happens with some PCs, but it really seems to be rare. So if it happens, let us know in the comments below and we'll try to investigate and see what happened. Just tell us what exactly is happening in your connection and we'll try to fix it. And again, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. Also, just out of curiosity, I actually spoke with Express and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending making more money on monthly renewals than they would have with the yearly plan. So basically what happens is people renew monthly thinking they might not need it that long. So unfortunately, they end up spending more money than they would have going with the year plan. 
especially with the discount code we provided down below. So really, if you know you're not going to need Express for longer than a month, then obviously you should get the month plan. But if there's even the slightest chance that you might end up using it longer than a month, you might want to go with the yearly plan. And then if you change your mind or realize, you know, this is not good for you or you don't need it that long, you can always get a refund and go back to just a month at a time plan. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.